Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode. Today we're going to be having a first impressions look at the re-released Yeezy 350 in the Pirate Black colorway. I'm excited for this one. Let's get into it. This is your first time to the channel then. Welcome. My name is Jess from writtenbyjess.com and I make videos and written blog post content about sneakers and lifestyle products. So if you like that kind of content, then please consider hitting the subscribe button right down below. It would help me out so much. And for those who are returning, as always, thank you for your support. I truly appreciate it. First thing that I want to talk about is actually the box right here because I know some people like to see that. So it's your typical Yeezy box, nothing different at all, slides out. And here is the info if you need it. So these are the Yeezy Boost 350s in the Pirate Black colorway. And the style number is BB5350. The colorway for this sneaker is of course Pirate Black, Blue Graphite, which I thought was kind of interesting, and Core Black. This retailed in Canada for $310 which I think is pretty steep for a pair of Yeezys and especially for a company like Adidas that is trying to get rid of the extra Yeezy uh, stock that they have. In 20, when it was originally released in August of 2015, the actual real t retail price was $285 Canadian. So it has gone up quite a bit in price for the same shoe essentially. So the materials and features for this sneaker are pretty typical of the Easy 350 line. So it comes in this all black prime net upper, red stitching on the back heel here, a full length boost midsole, rubber cage on the midsole, removable insole, and it has some leather on the inside of each shoe here with an imprint of Yeezy logo there as well. Let's talk about the comfort of these shoes. There's really not a lot to say about it except that they are comfortable. They are pretty typical of every other Yeezy 350s that I've owned and it's probably because of that full length boost on the midsole and so I approve of the comfort in terms of the Yeezy 350s and it hasn't changed for the Pirate Blacks here. In terms of sizing, I can never get the sizing right on the Yeezy 350s for me. I've heard so many different things in terms of sizing for the 350s and I just haven't been able to nail it down like I have for the slides. So I actually went half a size up for these and when I originally put in my name in the raffle, I had thought that I put it in for my true to size, which is a size seven. Maybe my finger slipped, I'm not really sure. I did a little bit of research and I guess when I was doing the research, people were saying to go up half a size. I went up half a size and when I tried these on, I was really disappointed that they were a little bit big for me. And so I'm the reason why I said at the beginning of the video that I was sad about it is because I probably won't be able to keep these shoes just because the sizing on it is actually a little bit too big for me. I haven't tried it on with a little bit of a thicker sock like the Yeezy socks, but you know, I just can't justify keeping a pair if I think it's just a little bit too big. My overall review and first impressions of this sneaker is actually quite positive. And if you know me on this channel, I always voice that I really don't like dark black shoes because I just feel that it doesn't look good on me. I'm actually going to narrow my 350 collection down to just two pairs and that is going to be the Yeezy 350 Slate. And then also I'm gonna pick a black pair, either this one here or the Yeezy 350 Bread colorway. And so I just kinda have to figure out which size I wanna keep and then I will sell the other pair. Nonetheless, I do think this is a pretty iconic colorway that was super popular when it was initially released. I was so happy that I was able to get a pair myself. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of time and decide which one I actually wanna keep. And that way my Yeezy 350 rotation will just be down to two because I am trying to limit the amount of sneakers that I'm buying because I want to actually wear every single pair that I own. 
But that's gonna do it for today's video. Let me know what you think about this colorway. I really love the turtle doves. Those are kind of like my grail in the Yeezy 350 line. I wasn't able to get those when they re-released, but this is a good second for me. Let me know if I should keep this pair. Let me know if the sizing is better with thicker socks or if I should have went to my true to size. I would love to hear your opinions on that. Thanks for watching the video today and I will catch you in the next episode. Peace! Bye! Hey everyone, thanks for checking out today's video. Please consider subscribing to see more content just like this. There is always more to see on my blog at www.writtenbyjust.com. Thank you for all your support and we'll catch you in the next one.